Hi, Dyslexic Genius here, Brad Hurt. My phone number is 864-236-1680, or you can email me at dyslexicgeniushurt at gmail.com. Question came up online. How do I fix a pinned governor weight and spring that's come loose? This is what it looks like. Really, you have a one-sided rivet. And you can see here this. So what Edison did was they drilled a hole in here originally, set in the spring, and then they had a piece, and it kind of looked like a screw. It had a little head on it. And they stuck it in there, and they went, and, they, and then they did the next one, the next one, the next one. But when you, if you come, and this is broken out, because... This little edge right here comes loose from where, because they didn't tighten it down hard enough, you have to replace this. You, you can mess around by, you know, drilling it, putting in some steel and trying to flatten it down, but that's not the best way to do it. What I've done on this governor, it had that same problem, but the governor weights were extremely rusty, so I deburred them and blued them to stop the rust on this. And you can see right here, I have a little bit of grinding. So what I did was I came in with my Dremel tool, and I ground this off gently. I'm grounding the bubble right here, not this flat piece that looks like a washer. And I'll grind that out till I can pop it off. Then I chucked it into the lathe, after I, before I blued them, I drilled a hole and I added this stainless steel button head screw right here. It's a little bitty, bitty button head screw. Why did I use that? Because the button head screw I have is almost the same outside diameter as the original rivet. And also, this will never come apart because I put 602 Loctite and bolted everything together. And I did the whole governor that way. And when I did it, I also retapped and redid all the ends of the screws too in these button heads, stainless steel, because of the rust problem. And I really like these because this way it really holds. When you put a washer on with this bigger head, it weighs the same as a regular Edison governor screw, but this really holds everything together. So if I have one weight broken out if of three? You, if you have one weight broken out of three, you're going to have to send it to someone, unless you have a lathe, and have them remove this, drill and tap, and put in a screw. You don't want to put it, you have to do all three weights. Luckily, when I did this, Governor, all the weights were there, and I could do this very easily. Why can't I just fix the broken one? This is the right way to fix the broken one. You check you check it into the lathe, you drill it, you tap it, you buy new springs or use the original springs you had and you put it back together. But you have to do all three. Why do I have to do all three? Because this pin weighs probably more or less than the little original screw that and, it, and it's for balance. How do I fix these? Well, on all my rebuilds, you hold this and you'll feel the spring move. So I put, the, you can, I put it on my piece of aluminum, but you can put it on the anvil if you have a vise or something, or you can get a chunk of metal. And I just come in, line that up straight and vertical and go, and I just flatten it out a little more. Take a look, see, yep, that's gonna hold. This is the problem when we have a phonograph that's over 100 years old, 120 years old, or more, and now things are starting to let go. And we, now we have to fix these things, like the governor weights. Because the governor on your any phonograph, like this governor, this is the hard drive to your phonograph. This regulates the spring power, the RPM when the machine's running to play a record or a cylinder. 
and you have to have these balance. And when you'll see me in some videos, I'll rebuild the governor and I'll spin it and you'll see it, it's running perfectly straight because I really work at getting these balanced out on, on your phonographs. And that's one reason when I do motor rebuilds, I can get them to crank up and start with three or four or five cranks and they kick over because I spend a lot of time on the governors making sure they're fully balanced. This is a lot of fun and that's my tip for the day.